Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. As many of you are already aware, one of the minimum system requirements for you to be able to upgrade for free from Windows 10 to 11 is that you will need TPM version 2, and TPM is basically a security chip found in the hardware on your PC. Now, the latest in new documentation from Microsoft is that original equipment manufacturers, that's OEMs for short, will still um, possibly ship some Windows 11 PCs without TPM. So, you know, this is just adding to the confusion and the contradiction, which has been doing the rounds regarding TPM and those minimum system requirements that are needed for you to be able to upgrade from Windows 10 to 11. And this has made a lot of users of Windows uh, 10 unhappy, including myself, as it's been discovered that, you know, <laughs> many computers that were bought even in the last year or so don't meet this requirement. And as I say, that makes a lot of users of Windows 10 unhappy. Now, originally, um, there was a bit of confusion because in Microsoft Docs, they said you needed TPM version 1.2 as a minimum system requirement. And then they altered and changed that to TPM version 2. And as I say, this made a lot of people unhappy and, you know, caused confusion. And I did make a video or two regarding TPM version 1.2 and TPM 2 uh, previously. Now, in new documentation from Microsoft, it turns out that uh, TPM, which Microsoft says is important for security, um, is not a compulsory or mandatory feature for all systems. And this has been noted in a new document from Microsoft. Now, if we just pop over to that document, which is a PDF, Microsoft Windows 11 minimum hardware requirements, June 2021, I'm going to, going to go down to section 3.6.1, Trusted Platform Module, that's TPM. And basically, in this section, they just basically tell you that you need TPM uh, version 2 as a minimum system requirement to be to, up, to, you know, to upgrade to Windows 11. But I want to take you to this section, which says a UEFR firmware option to turn off the TPM is not required. Upon approval from Microsoft, OEM, that's Original Equipment Manufacturers, Systems for Special Purpose Commercial Systems, Custom Order, and Customer Systems with a Custom Image are not required to ship with a TPM support enabled. So it looks like, according to this document and what Microsoft is saying here, that it's rather a choice that Microsoft has done this and not a necessity. So. It also says here, upon approval from Microsoft. So basically, OEMs will have to ask Microsoft um, and Microsoft will have to approve if they can ship without that, uh, you know, TPM support. And then it's also noted here that Windows 11 um, can, can also run in a virtual machine without um, any of those TPM checks. And if we just go down to Section 5 in the same document, Virtual machine. And I'm just going to read you again quickly. Microsoft recognizes that the user experience when running the Windows 11 in virtualized environments may vary from the experience when running non-virtualized. So while Microsoft recommends that all virtualized instances of the Windows 11 follow the same minimum hardware requirements as described in section 1.2, the Windows 11 does not apply the hardware compliance check for virtualized instances either during setup or upgrade. So you won't need TPM2 to run it in a virtual machine. So according to this documentation, which is quite recent, um, you don't actually need TPM to, you don't, don't need TPM in your hardware to run Windows 11. And so as I mentioned earlier, this looks more like a choice than a necessity on Microsoft's uh, part. So if we just pop back up to th that section again, and I say this is upon approval from Microsoft, so you know, Microsoft will have to give that approval for those special cases. And then it's also noted, uh, just noting that um, it's not all about having just TPM. You will also need to meet the right CPU requirements to upgrade from uh, Windows 10 to 11. And basically, if you have a seventh generation chipset or older, you will not be able to install the new Windows 11 on your current Windows 10 um, operating system, your machine. And Microsoft says that an eighth generation processor 
AMD Ryzen 2000 or newer is required with TPM2 support and 4 gigs of RAM. So I thought this was interesting. You know, this little section, custom order and customer systems with a custom image are not required to ship with a TPM support enabled. So once again, as I mentioned, this is, you know, Microsoft actually just choosing this and it actually isn't a necessity to be upgraded to Windows 11. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.